Hey, we are back with our time traveling twins. So last week we learned about the twins and what they like to do and what they did. And we talked about the Mesozoic era. So now we are at a new time. We're going to read about the Stone Age. So here we go. Whoosh. Tina and Tim have traveled back into time two million years ago. They are in the Stone Age. This is known as the Human Era. Tina and Tim start their own adventure. Tina steps into a footprint much like her own. They decided to follow the trail of footprints. Tina steps on something hard and sharp. She picks up a rock in the shape of an arrow. Tim says, cavemen put arrowheads on long sticks to make spears. Tim sees a rock painting of animals. Tina says, cavemen used rock paintings as a way to use like photographs. Tina sees a large mammal in the distance. It has long hair and two long tusks. Tim says, that is a mammoth. Cavemen hunted mammoths for food. Tim finds stones stacked together. The stones are covered with branches and leaves. Tina says, cavemen use this for shelter. Tina and Tim see smoke coming from behind the hill. They hurry to follow the trail. The trail leads them to a campfire. Tim sees a little boy his age. Tina sees cavemen with spears. Tina and Tim must leave before they are seen. Tina and Tim start running for the time machine. They get in the time machine and push the buttons. They fly away just in time. Tina and Tim have learned a lot from this adventure. It's time for Tina and Tim to travel once again. Whoosh. The end. So we kind of went through that a little quick, but I want to go back and look at some of the things that we saw. Okay. So the first thing is an arrowhead. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to look up arrowheads. Hey, let's look at this picture here. Okay, look at all these different um, photographs of arrowheads. These are all real arrowheads. They came in all sorts of different sizes and shapes and different types of rock depending on where you lived. Arrowheads were used in the Stone Age for hunting and protection. And they were used all the way up until um, Native Americans in the US and other places like that and other people like that. But these were some of the different kind of options. You can see different ones on our screen here. So that was something that was really cool. Okay, cave drawings. This is going to be cool when we see them. Cave paintings. So here's some examples of some real cave paintings. So you can see all sorts of different like animals. You can see here's one that looks like elephants, horses, handprints, all sorts of different things. Here's a good example right here. You see the bow and arrow. We were just talking about arrows. Hunting. So these are some cool um, cave paintings and these are all real. They're not fake. This is how they really did um, show what happened back in their time, which is really neat. All right, let's look for a mammoth. Okay, so we don't have any pictures of mammoths um, that are real. What we found were the bones of mammoths. And so I'm gonna kind of look at this right here. If you can see this, this is in a museum. This is where we found bones and we placed them together to show us what the animal looked like. And then using different types of science, um, we've been able to figure out what they might have looked like in real life. 
And so what they might have looked like, and you can see all these different pictures here, are furry, um, really big like an elephant. They look just like an elephant, actually. The only difference is all the long hair and the extra long tusk, probably used um, for food, for protection, to get through ice, all sorts of different things like that. So, I typed in prehistoric houses. Um, these are a little nicer. I think this right here is about what something might have looked like. You can see the sticks. Um, this one looks like it has a tarp over it, but it would have been sticks and stones things of that nature. Here's another one that I think kind of looked like the one in our picture. And they would have lived inside of these little huts um, made out of the resources that they could find in the wilderness. All right, let's look at pictures of cavemen. Now remember, there was not actual photography back then. So, um, it's going to be kind of what people think it might have looked like. And I think probably the best way to look at this is something like this. See how he's holding the spear? This would have been the beginning of humanity. This would have been um, humans like us, cavemen that lived inside these caves, um, had learned how to use fire, and they were protecting themselves. They had clothes that they made, usually out of animals or something of that nature. And so I think this is a good representation of that. So I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit of history about the Stone Age. I know I did, and I'm excited to see all the different things that we have coming up and the new eras coming up. So I hope you all like this, and we're going to keep going and learning about different times in history. And I will talk to you all later. You all have a great day.